हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द पी वाई क्वेश्चन सीरीज टूडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू दी हाउ यू कैन कैलकुलेट द डायमेंशन ऑफ द वेक्टर स्पेस आई विल कवर ऑल दोज क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द आई आई टी जैम एंड द गेट एग्जामिनेशन इन दिस लेक्चर माई सर डॉक्टर हरीश कर यू कैन सिंपली फॉलो माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड यू कैन फाइंड द वेरियस प्ले लिस्ट रिलेटेड टू द आई आई टी जैम एंड द गेट मैथमेटिक्स नाउ दिस इज अ सिंपल शॉर्टकट ट्रिक आई विल प्रोवाइड यू फॉर दिस लेक्चर Now, based on this simple shortcut tricks, I can solve each of the questions coming in this examinations. So, what is my shortcut trick? Is whenever you have a vector space W, or you can say the subspace X, how you can find the dimension of this W? So, it is a collection of all those X such that A of X must be. Remember, the right hand side must be zero. If it is non-zero, you can put on the left hand side. Then it will be the number of the column vector of the finding vector M. into the nullity of this a that's a simple shortcut trick i have given you how you can find the nullity it's a number of the column vectors and minus rank of the a so based on these shortcut tricks i can solve each of the py questions within the 10 to 15 second time periods so let's see how so what is given to you uh, i can return this matrix this system as w is the collection of all those x such that ax is equal to 0 fine now clearly say this is a 0 what is the size of this it's a 3 cross 1 so what is the dimension of w is number of the column is 1 into nullity of a nullity of a is my 3 minus rank of a so what is my a matrix a is my 2 2 1 3 3 minus 2 1 1 minus 3 so can you find the determinant of a so that i can check whether the rank is 3 or not so minus 9 plus 2 minus of 2 plus of 2 and plus of 1 3 minus 3 is a 0 so clearly say it is 3 cross 3 rank is by here so the rank of a will not be 3 so it, but we can get a 2 cross 2 sub minor whose determinant is a non zero so the rank of a is my 2 i can substitute here 3 minus 2 One is the right answer. Again, V is the vector space of all those x such that a x is my zero. This is my three cross three. So what is the x? X will definitely be three cross one. So what is the dimension of V? Number of the column vector of the x into nullity of a. So how we can find the nullity? Column vector minus rank of a. So what is the determinant of a? You can see one minus three into minus five minus one nine minus one plus one fifteen plus one so minus eight minus eight plus sixteen is a zero so rank can never be three and you can see we can get at least a two cross two minor whose determinant is a non-zero so the rank will be my two so three minus two one is the right answer. A is a m cross n matrix dimension of the space of the x such that a x will be my zero. What is my a is m cross n. So definitely x will be my n cross one. So what is the right answer? One into rank of a. So what is the column rank? Row rank is r. That is the same of the column rank. So n minus r is the right answer. You can see how many second you are needed to solve this problem. What is the dimension of all the vector space of three cross three real symmetric matrix? So what does it means? If I have a B, then because of this matrix, I can easily compute this value. If I have a C, I can easily compute this C value because this is the same. If I have a E, I can easily write this value, and this is F. How many vector? How many unknown vectors are there? How many number of the elements? So you can see, sir. Six. So the right answer is this is the right answer. Otherwise, otherwise you can also use my this shortcut tricks. The dimension of the symmetric matrix is n into n minus one over two, and it must be real. Fine. So this is the way you can compute as dimension of the real symmetric matrix. So again, you can see n is my three. So three into two divided by two. Three. 
sorry n into n plus 1 over 2 n into n plus 1 over 2 so this is 3 into 4 so it's a 6 so it's a 6 is the right answer consider the matrix m such that sm is the cons 3 such that am is 0 so m is given to you so you have all those m such that this value will be 0 this is my sm and it must be the 3 cross 3 so what is the size of the m 3 cross 3 so n must be the 3 cross 3 so that this value will comes my 3 cross 3 so this is my 3 cross 3 so what is the dimension of the sm number of the column vector 3 into nullity of m so how you can find the nullity of the m that is a column vector of the m minus rank of the m so can you find the determinant of this so 1 minus 1 minus 1 0 minus 1 so you can say it's a 0 so the rank will not be 3 and you can see a 2 cross 2 minor whose determinant is a non-zero so the right answer is 3 rank will be 2 so 3 is the right answer of this problem you can see this vector play a significant role while calculating the dimension of the problem look at this another one s and t are the subspace such that which of the following is my correct okay Firstly, I will tell you what is the largest subspace. What is the uh, what is the dimension of the largest S intersection T, which is always be less than of minimum of dimension of S, comma dimension of T. So, what is the dimension of the S? Seventeen and nineteen. What is the minimum? Is seventy. So, the largest value will be seventeen. But he said eighty. Fine. What is the smallest value? The dimension of the smallest value will be dimension of the s plus dimension of the t minus dimension of the subspace is my r24 so it is 19 plus 17 minus 24 so 19 is a minus 7 is it is my 12 so this is the smallest value is my 2 but it is actually a 12 how you can find that dimension of the s plus t which is dimension of the s plus dimension of the t minus dimension of the intersection now you can see you have to find the largest and the smallest when it will be the smallest it will be the smallest when it will be the largest fine so i can substitute this what is the dimension of this is 19 this is 17 what is the largest dimension is 17 so the answer is 19 but is the correct option the largest value of this so when it will be the largest when this will be the smallest, what is the smallest dimension of this is my 12. So 19 plus 17 minus 12 is a 5. It is my 24. But this option is cancelled. Fine. Okay, the dimension of this I can again return as this is x. This is ax is equal to 0. Fine. So x will be the element. It's a 5. R cross 5. So a will be here. Okay, so uh, if you are again, it is a very simple it will be 5 cross 5 cross 1 fine so definitely if it is a 5 cross 1 it is by 3 cross 5 fine or there is one more tips if i give you if you are if it's a single linear equation then it will be n minus number of the restrictions given to you n minus number of the restrictions given to you so what is the n how many vector sizes 5 so n is 5 how many restrictions are given only 1 so 5 minus 1 4 is the right answer again number of the restriction will define as the rank of the matrix if i say a 3 cross 5 so what is my a in this case 3 minus 1 1 so what is the rank of this a it is 3 so what is the nullity of this a 5 minus sorry rank is my 1 because there is only one row so 5 minus 1 is 4 is the again right answer 1 into this v is the vector space consider the dimension of the w so firstly we have to write the matrix fine so what is that it's a polynomial of degree 2 so it's my constant then t then t square fine the first value constant is my 2 coefficient of t coefficient of the t square second value constant 5 t coefficient of the t square 4 3 5 
then last one is 4 2 and 2 so clearly say it is my 3 cross 4 so the rank of this matrix m is always the minimum of this so it is less than or equal to 3 so 4 will not be there now how you can find the dimension of this w so number of the column vector minus rank of the m so can you find the rank of this so it must be the 3 so can you find okay i can transform the row so i can interchange them i can write 1 1 3 2 1 1 5 2 2 5 4 4 fine then i can make r2 minus r1 0 0 2 0 and twice of this r3 minus twice of this it is 3 4 minus 6 is a minus of 2 and is a 0 fine so what is that you can clearly say what is the rank of this rank is my 2 because if i interchange them uh, is it true no uh, okay i can interchange them 1 1 3 2 0 3 minus 2 0 0 0 2 0 so rank is a 3 because it, it has a i can see it's a 3 cross 3 matrix whose determinant is a non-zero so rank is my 3 i can substitute here 4 minus 3 is 1 is my right answer. The dimension of the V. So again, it is my 3 cross 1. So it is a 1 into nullity of A. Fine. So what is that? Okay. Again, because there is a restriction is given to you. Fine. So I can use this another one. It is my 3 cross 3. So number of the columns minus number of the restriction. So 3 minus 1 2 is my right. Dimension of the M. So again it is my 3 minus it is x comma y. So y is in the S. So I, I means rank of the S. Fine. So how I can find the rank of the S? 0 1 1 1 0 1 minus 1 2 1. I can found the determinant of this. So 0 is a 1 plus 1 plus 1 of 2 so clearly say it's a 0 and I got as this is my 2 cross 2 matrix whose determinant is a non-zero so the rank of S will be my so if it is a 0 means rank of S is not 3 I got this is my 2 cross 2 matrix so the rank of the S is my 2 so the right answer is 3 minus 2 1 is the right answer okay the dimension of the W again so what is the dimension of this is it's a 100 cross 100 so this minus number of the restriction so how many restriction is given to you i is even in this matrix of the 10 cross 10 how many even matrix uh, even row are there because i is represent my row so 50 rows are there so i minus 100 minus 50 is the correct answer Okay, Pn is a vector space of all the polynomial of degree at most 10. Always remember, if I say Pn is my polynomial of degree this, then the dimension of this Pn is my n plus 1. Fine. So, at most, must remember that equality must be there. Then what is that? So, it means, firstly, I can choose the value of the n. I can choose n is my 1. So, therefore, T will be my p2 to p3 so what is the dimension of this dimension is my 3 dimension of this is my 4 so i can construct a matrix of 4 cross 3 always remember matrix is this into this so what are the basis of the cube is 1 x x square x cube now i can take the first value fine oh, sorry n is my 1 so it is a p1 uh, this is when n is equal to 2 so you can to choose n is equal to 2 also but that will because i have a smallest value n is 1 2 p 2 so the dimension of this will be my 2 dimension of this will be my 3 so i need to construct a matrix of what is the dimension is 3 cross 2 is a 3 cross 2 so what is the p 2 is basis of the polynomial fine now I can choose firstly p is my 1. I can substitute here. Derivative will be 0. It's a 1. 
is my x so i can see constant will be 0 coefficient of the x is minus 1 coefficient of the x square is 0 i can choose the second one that is the x what is the derivative of the x is 1 integration of the x will be x square over 2 so it is constant is 1 this is 0 it is minus half then the dimension of the null space if i call this is my t can you find the rank of the t so clearly say it is a 3 cross 2 so rank will not be 3 so clearly say rank will be my 2 what is the nullity of number of the column vectors minus always remember student this is always be the number of the column vector so it is a 2 0 so when n is equal to 0 it is a 1 it is a 2 so 0 is the only right answer you can choose n is equal to 2 as well it's on you choice okay the dimension of the vector space of all the eigens vector of the t what is the eigen vector is tx is equal to lambda x so it means if i call w collection of all those x such that tx will be lambda x this is your target fine now firstly i need here to be a zero so i can write this is x such that t minus lambda of x will be zero fine what is the size of this x so it is a three i can return this value clearly say this number is my if i call this is my x1 it will be 1 times x1 fine because the same if i call this is my x2 it is my twice of x2 because it's my here and it is my x3 it is my thrice of x3 you can see it's the same what is the definition of this it means 1 2 and 3 are my eigenvalues fine so if eigenvalues are my distinct what is the meaning of that eigenvectors are also my distinct and how many eigenvectors you have 3 is the eigenvector so the dimension will be 3 is the right fine otherwise the second way is it is my 3 cross 1 fine so it is 1 into nullity of t minus lambda or you can say it is 1 minus 3 minus rank of t minus here so if my matrix t is a diagonal eigenvalues are my here fine so what is a t minus lambda it is a zero matrix fine so once is a zero matrix rank of the zero matrix is zero so three minus zero is again three is the right answer the v is the vector space of the six cross six the dimension of the subspace of all the symmetric matrix what is the dimension of the symmetric matrix n n plus 1 over 2 fine is it fine so what is the n is my 6 so 6 into 7 over so 7 3 21 is the right answer otherwise you can also calculate it like here it's my 6 cross 6 so my diagonals are say a1 a2 a3 up to a6 so if i have this value b so there is no need to because this is the same value if I have this another value C, this is also the same value. How many elements in the first row? Unknown elements, 6. How many elements in the second row? 5, then 4, then 3, then 2, and the last one is 1. So if you add them, you can say it's a 21 is the right answer. Okay, the dimension of the intersection, dimension of this. Can you find the dimension of W1? What is the size of this? It's a 4 cross 4. 4 minus number of the conditions how many condition you have given you can see for this w1 i have only one condition a11 should be minus of a12 this is the only condition a and b rest are unknown so only one condition is given to you 4 minus 1 is 3 similarly so dimension of w1 is 3 what is the dimension of w2 is a 2 cross 2 so again it's a 4 minus how many conditions you can see the only condition is my a11 is a minus so only one condition given so 4 minus 1 is again 3 then the value of the m and n so we all know what is the formula for the dimension of this it is dimension of w 
plus dimension of W2 minus dimension of intersection. So this value is my N, it is my M, fine. So what is the meaning of that? M plus N must be 6. So we can discard the option. The sum is not 6, sum is not 6, sum is not 6. The only left option is my right answer of the problem. Or if suppose my option will be here 4 comma 2. Is the right, right answer? Then you can see first number is my M. So if M is my 4, N is my 2. Is it satisfied? Yes. So does it satisfied? The first number is my 2 and it also satisfied. Okay, look at this another one. X is my here. Again, I can use the, what is the dimension is? 10 minus number of the conditions. How many condition is given to you? Only one condition. So 10 minus 1, 9 is the right answer. Or if you want to write this in the form of this, X, AX is equal to 0. What is the size of the X? It's a R10. So it's a 10 cross 1. If this is a 10 cross 1, so definitely this is a 10 cross 10. Fine. So what is that? It's a 1 into nullity of A. So what is a 1 minus number of the column vectors? 10 minus rank of the A. So what is the my A matrix? Firstly, I can put on the left hand side. So it is a 1 minus 1 minus 1. Only the first row. So the rank of the A is my 1. Again, you can get as 10 minus 1 is 9. But this is a quite easiest way. You can use this one also. Again, the dimension of the W. Okay. If you look about this matrix, what is that? If I call this is my B, it is also the same. So, uh, always remember, whenever AB is equal to a, BA, that means A and B are commute to each other. Then what does it mean? It means one of them is a scalar matrix. One of them is a scalar matrix. Always. Fine. What is the meaning of the scalar matrix? Because you can see what is the scalar matrix is? That is only the diagonal value A, A. Rest all are 0. Fine. Or you can say what is the scalar matrix is? Lambda times I. So you can see this is not the lambda times I. So that means A must be scalar matrix and it's a 2 cross 2. So it, this A must be my here. Fine. Now your target is to find the dimension. What is the dimension of this? That is a nullity of V. Fine. So 4 because the 2 cross 2 is my 4 minus. What is the rank of this is? 2. 4 minus 2 will be 2. Always remember my this shortcut tips for you. One of them must be uh, my scalar. Or if you, uh, other way, if you want to solve like this way, if I use, choose A, B, C, D, and you can substitute on this equation and then cro and then multiply it, equate them, there is no need of them. If you want to do, again, you will get the same answer. Okay, consider the set is this, is now it is my 3 cross 1. And for which of the following is my two-dimensional subspace. So firstly subspace. You can see alpha x plus beta y plus gamma is uh, z is equal to gamma. Now what is the condition for the subspace? We all know 0 must be satisfied. Then only we call it the subspace. So clearly say 0, 0, 0 satisfied. So gamma must be 0 gamma must be 0. Otherwise, if if gamma is my non-zero, then it is not subspace. So if it is not subspace, then you are unable to find the dimension. So gamma must be here. So this option is cancelled. So if gamma will be 0, now here x will be my 3 cross 1. So it is 1 into nullity of a. Fine. So 1 into nullity of a, that means 3 minus rank will be my 1 it is 2 always. Fine. So irrespective of the value of alpha and beta. For example, if alpha is 0, beta is 1, then equation will be y plus 1, y plus z is 0. Again, you can see 
डायमेंशन इज थ्री नंबर ऑफ द कंडीशन आर माई वन सो इट इज माई टू येस दिस राइट आंसर और यू कैन सी इन दिस केस मैट्रिक्स ए विल बी माई वन एंड वन सो अगेन द रैंक विल बी वन इफ एल्फा इज वन एक्स वाई विल बी जीरो सो दिस इज हेयर ओनली वन कंडीशन इज गिवन सो द डायमेंशन इज थ्री माइनस वन टू अगेन इफ बोथ आर वन एंड वन सो द कंडीशन विल बी एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड इज जीरो ओनली वन कंडीशन इज गिवन सो थ्री माइनस वन टू इज दी अगेन राइट आंसर सो ए सी डी आर दी करेक्ट आंसर Okay, look at this one again. You have to find the dimension of the y such that of this. What is the dimension of the y? Y is a part of this, so it y is a part of cube, so it is a three cross one. Now I have to check it. Is there any non-zero vector? The easiest one is I can choose this value. Fine. If I choose x is my here, what is my x transpose? One zero zero. Then x into x transpose is a 3 cross 3 matrix fine so if i multiply them it's a 1 it's a 0 it's a 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 what is my x transpose into x it is my 3 cross 1 it is 1 cross 3 so x transpose no sorry x will be my 3 cross 1 this is my 3 cross 1 it is my 1 cross 3 so it is my 1 cross 1 So that is one. So what is my a? A is my one zero 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 zero, because that this value is my one. So what is this condition? A y will be zero. Fine. So what is the right answer of this? One into nullity of a. So what is a one? This has three cross three. So number of the columns are my three minus. What is the rank of this? One. So the right answer of this is. Two is my correct answer. Okay, n of a is a null space, so a is given to be one minus one two five two zero. Okay, it is my two cross three, so definitely rank will not be three. What is the rank of a? It has a two columns. Fine. What is the nullity of the a? Number of the columns are three. Three minus two is one. Fine. So this value will be my one. Rank range of this. It is my three cross two. So definitely the rank of this value will be two. Fine. Because I got this is two cross two matrix whose determinant is a non-zero. So this value will be two. What is the dimension of the intersection? So if it only has a one element, the intersection must be the minimum of this. So that is the only one element is the right answer. Okay, v one, v two are here and are in the column. So this is my v one, this is my v two, this is my two v one minus v two, this is v one plus two v two. The number of the linearly independent solutions, that is, a solution is x such that m x will be zero. Fine. So the, if I call this is my W. Now, how you can find this vector? The number of the linearly independent. That means you have to find the geometric multiplicity. That means you are finding the kernel. That means you are finding the nullity of the M because M X is a zero. You can find the nullity of this. So what is the rank of this? Nullity will be and what is the column? What is the size of this? It's a three cross. How many vectors are there? Four. So four minus rank of the m. Okay. Now what is the rank of this? The one way is you can substitute the value of the v one 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 zero. V two is my here two v one minus of this. It will be my two minus one minus one v one plus two. It is my one three. And two, otherwise there is no need of them. You can see, this is my linear combination of these elements. This is my linear combination of these elements. So these two are only independent elements. So the rank of this matrix M is my two. Fine. Otherwise you can find the rank of this by using the row reduce. Again you will get two. 
but there is no need because I can see these two are the linear combination of this. So therefore, the only two independent vectors are my two. So four minus two, it is my two is the right answer of this problem. Okay, look at that. U, V, W are the finite dimension real vector space. Capital T is the mapping from U to V. Fine. V to W is the mapping of the S. The, this to this is called as the P. Then range of the S T. What is the S T is? Can you find that S of T? This will be U to W. So what is the U to W is my here. This is my S T. Then what is given to you? Range of S T is my nullity of P. Okay, something is given to you. We can start from the first option. Nullity of T. What is the meaning of the nullity of T? I can define nullity of T is my here. So I can use the dimension for the rank nullity theorem. So dimension of U minus rank of U. What is the dimension of U and rank of the, sorry, rank of T. What is the rank of T? Okay, and I, I can found the second part also. What is the nullity of S is dimension of V minus dimension, uh, rank of the S. Fine. So what is the rank of the S? Rank of the S and rank of T are same. So it means if I subtract them, it will be dimension of U minus dimension of the V. This is N of T minus NS. Now when it will be equal? They are equal only when the dimension of V and dimension of S are equal. Is it given that? No. It is not given, so it means it is not always true. Dimension of W is not equal to dimension of the uh, dimension of u is not equal to dimension of w. So what is the dimension of u? That is a nullity of, no, dimension of the u. u is my here. So that means nullity of t plus rank of t by using the rank nullity theorem. What is the dimension of w? w is the mapping, w is here. Dimension of w is rank of the p plus nullity of P. Now what is given that? Uh, this is the rank of the P which is equal to the null space of S T. Null space of the S T range of S T which is equal to null space of P. Fine. Now what is given to you from here? So N P is nothing but R of S T. Fine. And R of P is nothing but my N of S T. What is the meaning of that? S T start from the U. So this is the dimension of U. So but they are each same. But he said not equal. Fine. So I got the two first two options cancel. Out. Now dimension of V is my 3. So this is my 3. This is my 4. And P of this. What is the meaning of that? dimension of u 4 that means range of the t plus nullity of t is my 4 and dimension of the u is 4 now v v is my here so that is with respect to s s of this is my 3 fine rank of t and rank of s are given to same so i can subtract them it will be cancelled out so nullity of t minus nullity of s is my 1. P is not identically 0. What is the meaning of that? If I prove the range of the P is non-zero. If P of range is non-zero, it means P is not equal to identically 0. So my target is to calculate the rank of the P. So what is the N of T? How you can see that? Nullity of T is... Uh, anything is from here s i have given to you so what is the rank of the s rank of the s i can if the rank of the uh, dimension of the v is given to you 3 so can you find this the rank of s 
nullity of the s is my 3 so nullity of s will be 3 minus rank of the s which is 1 fine and rank of s and nullity of t are same so this plus is my 4 or which is same as here okay i can check for the fourth option if we are unable to make some conclusion from here okay what is that if the dimension of v t is my 1 1 what is the meaning of that t 1 1 that means nullity of t will be 0 once the nullity of t will be 0 can you find the because uh, rank of range of the t by the dimension of the u so dimension of the u will be 3 okay then dimension of v is my 4 so dimension of the v that means range of s nullity of s is my 4 dimension of u is my 3 u is my here so range of the t nullity of the t is my 3 and nullity of t will be 0 so range will be 3 fine p is identically 0 so okay can you find the nullity okay i can use here rank of t is nothing but the rank of s so rank of s is also the 3 so nullity of s will be my 1 so once the nullity will be here it means nullity of the s that means it is it's a p we need a w how we can do that so again you can see we are unable to reach at the p okay so i no no issue i can use another concept what is the concept is i can look about this i need the rank of the p fine rank of the p if you look about here p uh, rank of the p p is the range of the t that is the s of t okay so i can start from the t firstly fine this is always be less than of the dimension of u and dimension of v so it is less than of the three also t is start from the s t it is also be less than of the range of the t it is less than of three fine so the if the range of the s t is less than three what is the nullity of the s t what is the dimension of the s t start from the u and u has the dimension four so it must be greater than of 4 minus 3 1 so what is the meaning of that and the nullity of the st is range of the p so range of the p is greater than or equal to 1 that means it's a non-zero so yes it is my correct option this is my identically zero is the wrong it is an interesting question okay it's a very interesting question here okay look at this one is the dimension of this w1 is a real vector space w1 is all collection of all those vector space of 5 cross 2 such that the matrix is my here what is the size of if this is my 5 cross 2 it must be my 2 cross 5 at least 2 cross 5 okay so what is my matrix a a is corresponding to w1 such that the sum of the entries in the each row is 0 so it is my 2 cross 5 sum of the entries in the each row a b c d i can found this number as such it will be the minus of this quantity here e f g h i can found that quantity easily so what is the dimension of w1 how many unknown elements are there 8 for the 2 w2 is again the real cross matrix such that sum of the entry in the each column is my 0 fine so it is again a 2 cross 5 sum of the each column will be 0 if it is my a it is minus a it is b it is minus b c d and e so what is the dimension of w2 5 fine and what is the dimension of this for that you need the plus fine but you can see that how many elements are common 1 2 3 4 these four elements are common fine this e is not common because e is the what is that there is no relation between a and e and there is no relation so what is the el common elements are there four elements are common and intersection means common elements so the right answer is four is the correct answer of this problem
look at this another one again you have to find the dimension of v so what is the x x is my p so p times nullity of t so what is the nullity of t is a rank what is the x what is the size of the t is n minus rank of t so p is a m cross this is cross is a p n minus p is a p is cross so p n minus p is a right answer okay w is one collection of all those 100 elements such that x i is 0 if i is my divisible by 4 it means x 4 is 0 x x 8 will be 0 and so on so what is the dimension of this fine it's a 100 elements minus how many conditions are given to you 4 8 then 16 and so on so i can found the number of the restrictions so number of the restriction will be 100 out of which are divisible by 4 25 so this is my w1 similarly i can found for the w2 divisible by 5 it is 100 over 5 is 20 fine what is the common intersection is that means which is divisible by 4 and 2, 5, 20, both that is a 20 so what is the condition how many conditions are there it is 5 so then how you can find the intersection the dimension of this so i can simply say number of the elements in the w1 number of the elements in the w2 plus or minus number of the elements no this is it's an intersection that is a common portion it's a union fine it's a union so i can return this is my union so what is that it's a 25 plus 20 minus 5 40 is the right answer of this problem otherwise if you want to find the dimensions 100 minus how many such cases are there that's a 25 so it is so dimension of w1 will be 75 dimension of w2 will be how many conditions are there 20 100 minus 20 is a 80 how many common portions are there how many common are there which is divisible by 4 as well as divisible by 5 so how many numbers which are divisible by 4 and divisible by 5 as well so can you count that uh, you can take the LCM it is only my 2 uh, it's what is that is there any common there is no common element about that so that's why you have taken about this here so I can found the dimension of the union what is the dimension of the union uh, is a 20 so 100 minus 5 it is my 95 so I can found the dimension of the union is 95 so what is the condition for the dimension of union it is dimension of w1 dimension of w2 minus dimension of intersection so that way you can again do like this method okay look at this another one p 20 20 is a collection of all those polynomials w is my here okay such that of this what is the meaning of this is that i start from the zero a zero a1 x a2 x square up to n so n is my 20 20 so 20 20 x of 20 20 so what is the dimension of this as i told you earlier if f belongs to my polynomial of degree n what is my dimension of this f n plus 1 so this is the polynomial of degree 20 20 so what is the dimension of this 20 21 fine now how many conditions are there minus how many condition how many odd numbers out of 20 20 i can divide them to so it is 1 0 1 0 so what is the right answer of this 1 0 1 1 is the right okay look at this one again consider subspace of w which is i n firstly i can choose n is my 2 so then it will be my i a a square fine so what is the dimension of this is uh, what is the dimension of this because is it given any condition of the a no so the dimension will be 
two because if one of them will be if because they uh, if they are my linearly independent then it can be it is one if they are not then it's a maximum of two so at most two is the right answer okay f is the subspace of v is the restriction of the f on the zero one is a polynomial so restriction is polynomial of degree less than or equal to two comma comma means that is the intersection uh, and restriction of the f on this with the degree 3 p3 and f of 0 is equal to 0 so what is the basis of this if it is a p2 what is the degree of this degree is my 3 if it is a p3 what is the degree of this 4 and there is a one condition so what is the right answer of this 3 plus 4 minus one condition so 6 is the right answer of the problem Okay, so the dimension of the range space, find your target is to find the dimension of the range of T A. So first of all, we all know range of this range of the A is always my subspace. So what is the meaning of the subspace? T of X must be zero because origin must be satisfied. So if origin will be satisfied, it means A X will be X A. So again, the same tips for you whenever you have the two matrix which are commute to each other this means at least one of them is my scalar matrix so is the a is my scalar matrix no because it is not a lambda i fine so if i look about here this is basically a i 0 0 minus i fine if you consider x for example x is not a scalar so it will be like a b c and d so all are my two cross two matrix then what is my this is my a what is my ax i into a is a this is my d fine and these are some numbers and what is the x into a again this is my a this is my d it has some number so if i subtract them this value will be cancelled out so what is that it's a zero it's a zero it has some number it has some number so can you find the dimension of this it has how many elements are there 4 4 4 okay so each each element has a 2 cross 2 so what is the element of this 4 plus 4 is 8 is my right answer of this problem fine w is the subspace of the m3 consists of all the matrix with the property that sum of the each entry in the some of the entry in the each row is my zero. Some of the entries in the each row is a three cross three. Each row, it means if I say A, B, then this will be zero. If I say C, D, this will be zero. If I say E, F, this will be automatically computed then. And some of the entries in the each column will be zero. If I know A and C, then this value I can easily compute. If I know B and D, this value I can easily compute. So how many unknown elements are there? 4 is the unknown elements. Okay, look at this another one. Again, you have to find dimension. Again, you can see this is my non-zero. So I can first, firstly convert this into M minus 1 U of T is my 0. Fine. So again, how you can find that dimension is it's a 3 cross 1. It is 1 into nullity of m minus i. So I can found the m minus i firstly. I can found the rank 0, 0, 0, 0 cos theta minus 1 into minus sin theta into sin theta 0 cos theta minus 1. So clearly say this is my non zero. So the rank of this is 2. So what is the nullity of this? What is the size of this is? 3 cross 3. 3 minus 2. 1 is the right answer. The dimension of this. Uh, I can choose n is my particular value. n is my 2. So this is my 2 cross 2. 
the first value said a11 should be minus of a11 so this is a zero so diagonal value should be zero if i know this value a i can easily compute this is my minus a so how many unknown elements are there only one is the unknown elements so i can check it i can choose n is one this number is four this is four minus one three this option is cancelled four minus two is a two this option cancelled four divided by two so none of this is the correct answer of this problem so whichever is the option you can check where one appears that's the right answer okay you have to find the intersection what is the intersection is one way is you can find the dimension of w1 for example okay what is the dimension of this what is the p degree is my at most 20 fine collection of all those polynomials having the degree 20 minus number of the restrictions 1 2 3 4 this is my dimension of the w fine v is a vector space of all those polynomial in the one variable with real coefficients and having degree at most 20 sorry if p is my polynomial of degree at most 20 dimension is my 21 so this is 70 similarly you can find the w2 and then you can find the union and then you can use the formula for the intersection but there is no need i can found the intersection quickly collection of all those polynomials such that i can this is the common element firstly i can this is a single restriction fine this is a two times i can return as a one p5 only one times p50 this is p30 p40 and p70 because p7 appeared two times i can return here how many restrictions are there three four five six so six restrictions so your answer is 21 minus 6 15 is the right answer of the problem okay the dimension of v and dimension of w so v is my c5 of a b what is the meaning of the c5 is a function f belongs to the c5 means it is a five times continuously differentiable function and we all know dimension of the c is always infinity fine what is the dimension of the v uh, sorry w fine what is that is a fourth order so you can see if it is a fourth order so whatever the solution will be here it will be c1 y1 c2 y2 c3 y3 so dimension will be 4 is the right because none of the condition is given to you so dimension of the 4 is the right answer no need to solve them dimension of v dimension of v v is the element collection of all those solution so it is y double dash a y dash plus b y what is the order of this differential equation 2 minus number of the conditions how many condition is given to you only one condition so number of condition is 1 so 2 minus 1 is the 1 as the right answer Okay, dimension of C0 over M. So I can firstly write the dimension in the form C0 minus dimension of the M. What is the M is here? So, what is, how I can do that? Number of the restriction is 1. So, it's a M. So can you find the dimension of the M? What is the N? Size is my C0. So, dimension of C0 minus number of the restriction. How many restriction given to you? Only one restriction. So dimension of C0 minus 1. If I substitute here, dimension of C0 will be cancelled out. 1 is the right answer of the problem. Okay, dimension of U and V plus, you need a plus. That means it will be dimension of U, dimension of V minus dimension of intersection. So these are the null space fine so can you find the nullity of this what is the rank of this is my 2 fine so what is the dimension of this so if rank is my 2 dimension is nothing but the here what is the rank of this again is a nullity so nullity of this will be my again 2 
so this is my two how you can find the dimension of the union intersection so again a very simple if i take the pair as x y z w fine so from the first case i can say x plus y is equal to 0 because it's a nullity second case is z plus w is equal to 0 third case x plus 2y plus 3w sorry 3z plus 2w is 0 and next one is y plus 2z plus 1w is 0 so dimension means number of the free variables i can count the free variable so you have the four free variable x y w u so from the first case i can write this x in terms of y from this i can write this y, w in terms of here fine so y is itself in terms of the y this is itself in terms of this now from here what you got that if i say x and w this is in terms of w whatever the coefficients are there so i can write y also in terms of the w so this is also in terms of the w this is also in terms of the w and you can see x is written in w y is in w z in w and all are in the w so the dimension is my one so four minus one three is the right answer of this problem always remember dimension is my free variable either you can write as a number of the conditions or you can use as a rank or count as a number of free variables. Again, you can see dimension of plus. So I need a dimension of W1 plus dimension of W2 minus dimension of intersection. So can you find the dimension of W1? So it's my 3 minus, there is only one condition. So 3 minus 1, 2. Again from here, 3 minus 1, 2. What is the intersection is? I can write the two equations here. It is x2 plus 2x3. x1 is 3x2 plus 2x3. Fine. And I need a uh, three vectors. So I can see how many free variables are there. So from these two equations, if I subtract them, what will happen? If I subtract them, I can write x2 in terms of x3. Fine. Here x3 is already in the x3. Once you are written x2 in the terms of the x3, I can substitute here. I can also return x1 in terms of x3. So there is only one free variable. So the dimension is 1. Again, answer is 3 is the correct answer. Look at this another one. Uh, we have to find the dimension of the t. So t will be my so sign of this. So I can open this bracket sin A cos B plus cos A into sin B into Fy of dy. So if I open this sin of x is my constant. So it is 0 to 1 cos Y into Fy plus cos X will be constant. Then it is a sin Y into Fy dy. Fine. Now, the thing is how you can integrate them. There is no need of the integration. Look at that. The limits are my constants. So whatever the integration you can solve, it will always be the constant. I call it as a C1. Again, the limits are my constants. So whatever the integration we have obtained, it is also the constant. So what is that? How many constant you have um, obtained? They are the two constants. So the dimension is my two because there is no addi additional condition given to you. If it is given that like f of 0 is f1, then your answer will be 2 minus number of the conditions. But right now, this is not given. So only two constants. So 2 is the right answer. Okay, this is our 2023 dimension of the m orthogonal complement. So you all know what is the dimension of the orthogonal complement? It is firstly, remember these steps dimension of the m plus dimension of the orthogonal complement which is dimension of the vector space in this case dimension is given as a 4 so what is that this number is my 4 
so this is 4 minus dimension of m so what is the m m is my here with this condition so can you find the dimension of the m it's a 4 minus number of the conditions how many conditions you have only one condition 4 minus 1 3 so i can substitute here this is 1 is my right answer look at this another one Dim, uh, dimension of this so can you find that dimension of w1 vector 3 how many conditions only one condition so dimension is my 2 can you find that dimension of w2 3 minus 1 again so it is my 2 same if i substitute here what is that 2 plus 2 what is the dimension of this is 3 is it 1 yes also correct now find the intersection how you can find the dimension of the intersection i can use the number of the free variable so i can write the w1 this is minus x3 is 0 and 2x1 plus 3x3 is 0 i have a three vectors x1 x2 and x3 now you can see that from here i can return x1 in terms of x3 x3 is already in the terms of x3 once you are written x1 in terms of x3 so x, this is in the terms of x3 i can return x2 i can found the value of x2 also in terms of x3 so there is only one free variable so the dimension of this is one is it fine so uh, dimension is three it is my correct one fine now what is that uh, what is that dimension of the plus that means w1 plus w2 minus intersection oh, sorry uh, yes minus intersection intersection is 1 so 2 plus 2 minus 1 it is my 3 fine so this is wrong option is it okay so i hope you can simply learn the this is option i hope you can learn many shortcut tricks in this video we will see the next lecture on the basis of the linear transformation till then you can simply like share and comment on my video best of luck students happy learning